Hi, I'm Robert Kalman. I'm from Brewster, New York. I'm a documentary portrait photographer, which essentially means that I stop people in the street and I take their portraits. Uh, these two pieces in this exhibition are from a series that I call Fleeting Intimacy. Uh, these two pieces are from original tintypes, and I made them using the wet plate collodion process. In the age of digital photography, these are considered alternative process photographs. But in the mid-19th century, when uh, this kind of photography was invented, uh, it was the only process that was available. So here's how a tintype is made. Um, it starts with this aluminum plate, and it uh, gets coated with something, a substance called collodion. Looks like maple syrup. Uh, once it gets a little bit dry, it's immersed in a bath of silver nitrate, and that makes this plate um, sensitive to light. And um, the sensitized plate is then placed inside a holder. It's brought out to the camera. It's exposed. I bring it back into a dark box, which I bring with me, which has a little red light so I can see. And I have to bring all the chemistry with me also. So it's quite a labor-intensive process. After exposing the plate, um, it's developed uh, back in the box. And I uh, then render it insensitive to light so that I can show the person the, the very last part of the process. And as the picture is placed in the final chemistry, uh, the picture kind of emerges um, very slowly. That's why sometimes 19th century photography like this is called uh, the 19th century version of Polaroid. I chose this particular method for this project because I wanted to explore how it affected the actual portrait itself. Consider that from the start of when I meet the person in the street and go through the whole process, it takes about 20 minutes. And also the tintypes um, sensitivity to light is very limited. So it requires that the people who are having their photos made stand still for at least four to six seconds. Uh, that's why they have to brace themselves. She's braced on her forearms. She's braced on the wall. Um, it, it really requires a lot of trust and collaboration between me and the person in the photograph. So the idea of photographing strangers comes from a concept uh, put forth by the American philosopher John Dewey, who said, the deepest urge in human nature is the desire to be important. And that's what drives me to make portraits of people I encounter in the street. I have an interest in helping them feel important. And I want to bring their presence to you, the viewer, so that um, it piques your curiosity about them. Um, it moves you to care about people you don't know. And when I couple that particular interest with the process of wet plate collodion, I believe that the results are timeless. They are deeply revealing. And they're uniquely beautiful. So thanks for watching.